I'm Ken Kadinger. I'm a faculty member here at Carnegie Mellon University in the Human Computer Interaction Department. One of the things that is quite striking when you carefully study learning is how much learning actually happens kind of underneath the surface uh, that we're not consciously aware of. One way to reflect on that is think about how you learned your first language. You know, you didn't, nobody explained to you, you know, how the works. Uh, you pick that up. Uh, your brain's really powerful at soaking up patterns. And it continues to do that throughout uh, academics and throughout life. So as much as 70% of what we learn is actually outside of our conscious awareness, so-called implicit learning. Uh -huh. We acquire lots of tacit knowledge. And that just means that sometimes we're not targeting the genuine student learning difficulties that they're experiencing because we're not aware of them. We didn't realize that we went through those same difficulties. If you're only aware as an expert of 30% of, of your knowledge, then if you're trying to design instruction or, or provide instruction, you know, whether it's creating a lesson plan or creating an online course, you're kind of at a disadvantage if you're only drawing from 30% of what you want to get across. So what we found is the best way to crack that is to try to collect as much data on student performance and expert performance as you can to see, well, what is the difference between how experts are able to solve problems and how novices uh, fail or struggle. Um, sometimes our beliefs about this are just the opposite of the truth. For example, we, I was wondering why algebra story problems are so, fun, so hard for students and that and uh, so built a set of quiz items that closely match story problems and equivalent equations to see, you know, in which case and by how much is the percent correct different. And uh, it was striking because we found just the opposite of the standard belief. Students had more trouble at the equations, not at the story problems. This is a great example of the difficulty of equations for beginning algebra students. It's a great example of where we as experts don't realize how much work our brain did to learn the language of algebra. Just like we learned the language of English implicitly yeah. mostly. There's a lot of implicit learning in learning the language of algebra. So we underestimate how hard it is because we didn't really consciously experience that difficulty. And we will look at student errors on equations. It's really clear that they're kind of lower level language related errors. They don't have the full lexicon of what an asterisk means, for example, or, or why when you put a number next to a letter it means multiplication. There's issues of the grammar and so forth. There's all kinds of little nuances that uh, take time and practice and interaction to acquire, but we don't fully realize that.